everybody. Um, I hope you can all hear us this week straight away. Um, but first of all, I'll start by saying if you can't hear us, please just message uh, the stamp page or Chris or one of us to let us know because I mean you won't, you won't be able to hear me if, if um, you won't be able to hear me giving those instructions if you can't hear. But anyway, um, I can see that you're all coming into the live stream now, which is really exciting um, and we'll start really soon. Um, so I want to introduce Reese as well. Reese, are you there? Hi guys. Hello, Therese here. How are you all doing? What I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly explain how you actually get on to the quiz if you're on your phone, okay? So if you followed us on Facebook and found the link for the quiz, uh, you should take you to this uh, part of the stamp website. You want to scroll down to playing on a smartphone or a tablet and click on that link there. Uh, once you've done that, it'll take you to a screen that looks like this. Uh, and you want to, oh, you want to get a call from Dan Sheldon apparently. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. Uh, you want to start the quiz, and it'll take you. Put your name in like that. So that's how you play the quiz on your phone. Don't forget to play the video on the YouTube stream. You might have to just pinch it. Do you do the pinching motion for us? Pinching, like like this, like like a pinch, like a pinch, like a perfect pinch. pinch. You pinch that YouTube down. Um, and what it'll do is it'll keep playing while you're using the quiz as well. Yeah. And um, sometimes if it's a question where you have to type the answer in, it might come up that you've got it wrong if you spelled it incorrectly or something like that. But don't worry, because uh, our producer, Christopher, behind the scenes will make sure that um, everybody who's got the right answer does get that right. And everything that you write and then send does count. So don't think that you can take your answer back. Absolutely right. So at the moment, you should be putting like your team name in or your player name. That should be what's on your screen. Um, once you've submitted that, we'll be ready to go. We're just waiting now for the go ahead. So we've got about 15 people here today so far. So that's really exciting. Hello to all of you. And um, I hope that the whole lucky day situation is going OK for everybody this week. Um, yeah, the same. Lucky day. Lucky day. Lucky D is a brilliant name for a lockdown. I it. thought everybody would understand that. That was what of course. I was, hopefully. Of course, of course. Of course, of course. Uh, so we're just waiting for the go-ahead now uh, to get started with the quiz. So, Reese, how do you want to do this first round? You tell me. Do you want to read the questions and I'll read the um, options? Sure, let's go with that. I'll read the questions okay. and you read the options. Okay, so we'll go straight on to the first round then. It's really exciting. I can't actually remember what the first round is, so we'll find out together. Let's find out. That's really nice. So this is the musical theatre general knowledge round. The first question is, in Le Miserable, how many of the main characters are still alive in the end? So is it two, four, six, or none of them? <laughs> Quite morbid, that one, isn't it, Dee? Yeah, I mean, Le Mis... It's in the title, really. It's not really known for being the happiest. So you would expect that quite a lot of them would die. But a very morbid question to start off this lovely quiz. How many of the main characters are still alive at the end? Is it two, four, six or none? It's really sad, isn't it? <laughs> that so many of them <laughs> die. Great start of the quiz. OK, so let's see how you've all done there. Um, eight of you went for two, but that wasn't the right answer, sadly. The right answer is four. Can you tell me who those characters are? I know that it's obviously Marius and Cosette, but I can't um, remember who they are. Oh, who else is still alive? That, that's a difficult one for me, you know. Uh, the, are the Tenardi is still alive, perhaps? Oh, uh, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Sure, we'll go with that. <laughs> okay, on to the next question then. Here we go. And your next question is about to appear on your screen. <laughs> what you like, Reese? What am I like, eh? So which musical holds the record for the longest running Broadway musical in the 20th century? That is up to and including the year 2020. Sorry, 20,000. 20. <laughs> 2,000. Is it Cats, A Chorus Line, Legally Blonde, or Once on This Island? Remember, the faster you answer your question, the faster you answer, the more points you get. <laughs> Try that one again, Reese, one more time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the faster you answer, the more points you get for your question. Sure, we'll go with that. Mm -hmm. And the answers are, let's have a look. Ten people going for cats there, which is the correct answer. 
Good job, everybody. Good job, well team. I don't even think once on this island. Oh no, it, it it was an older musical, wasn't it? It's been revived recently, but it did have a small break. Yeah. Um, Cats obviously um, is Caitlin going due to that um, amazing motion picture that they released last Fantastic. year, which went, went so well in so well in the box office. Blockbuster. Yeah. Okay, so moving on to the next question then. And your next question is... I love the tunes. Which musical film contains the song Kansas City? Oh, is it Calamity Jane? I think that's spelled slightly wrong there, but um, we'll forgive that. <laughs> <laughs> Calamity Jane, Blood Brothers, West Side Story, or Oklahoma! With an exclamation point. <laughs> is it Calamity? <laughs> Calamity Jane. Calamity. Classic Calamity. It was <laughs> Calamity. Calamity Jane. Um, Oklahoma! Let's see what the right answer was. So the right answer was... Oklahoma! Oh, it was Oklahoma! Uh, I think my parents are going to come upstairs in a second and see if everything's okay because I keep shouting. <laughs> uh, so the correct answer was Oklahoma! Um, but a lot of people went for Calamity Jane as well, although that's not Calamity even a man. musical, so... Um, Calamity Jane, uh, what the like? Calamity Jane. <laughs> Calamity mm. Jane's got me increased. Um, but right. you. <laughs> Moving on to the next question. <laughs> Let's all forget about Calamity. Okay, so your next question is coming up on your screen now, and it is... In the 1969 musical Sweet Charity, who sang If My Friends Could See Me Now? <laughs> Is it Carol Baskin? <laughs> Carol Baskin, Rosemary Ash, Shirley MacLaine, or Helen Hobson? <laughs> I like that one. It was very good. Carol Baskin. Carol Baskin. Carol Baskin. Killed her husband. husband whacked him. him. And pretended like it didn't happen. That's currently um, all that's going around in my head 24 7. Um, What's happening? What's Carol happening? Carol Baskin. Okay, so the correct answer. Uh, Carol two, three people went for Carol Baskin. Uh, wow. Sadly, that wasn't the right answer. <laughs> um, wow. Perhaps watch Tiger King, uh, the new Netflix show. That might enlighten you a little bit there. Plug. But um, Shirley MacLaine was the correct answer. Well done, Shirley. people went for that one. Yeah. Shirley not. Wow. I don't know enough about Sweet Charity. I know big spenders from that show. I actually... Um, know nothing about it. So, okay, well, uh, I, on that note, we'll move on to the next day question. Yeah, I think that's probably, probably a good idea. Okay. There we go. So, your next question is... Um, a group of nuns conclude that Maria is not an asset to the Abbey. In what musical? Is it The Sound of Music, Sister Act, The Woman in White, or Nonsense? Nonsense sounds like a brilliant musical. I'm all about that. Me too. I've never ever heard of it if it if it exists. It's absolute nonsense to my ears. <laughs> oh, it would be nonsense on the stage. <laughs> so Maria's a group of nuns to the, the Abbey. Lovely Sorry. demonstration there from the <laughs> our, our fabulous host and the answer. <laughs> our fabulous host. Okay, <laughs> so most people went for the sound of music there, which was the correct answer. Well done. Well done to those people. One um, for not... nonsense. Not so, not so good to the people who went for the nonsense. That is nonsense. Uh, moving on to the next question, though. Uh, <laughs> moving on from that. Should be appearing on your screen any second. Any second. Now. And your next question is: the Oscar-winning song "Secret Love" features in which musical? Okay, so is it "Hairspray," "Into the Woods," "The Secret Garden," or "Calamity Jane"? Wow. I wonder if that's anything like Clamity Jane. <laughs> I think they're very different stories, to be honest. Yeah, same. Um, I personally prefer Clamity myself. Yeah, Not same. So, Secret Love, the song, featured in which musical? I mean, do you, I would, I don't know what, I'm going out on a limb here, but I would go with one that also has the, the word secret in it. That would be my option. Really? I, I actually don't know why I don't know. Uh, maybe I do know this song. I don't know. No way. It's Clamity. It's Clamity It's Clamity Jane. Jane. Not Clamity, but Calamity. What a Calamity. Oh, and been... a lot of people got that right as well. I think that's probably because, I mean, Hairspray and the Woods are very, very popular. I'd say probably more popular than uh, Calamity over yeah. there. But um, maybe it was, maybe people just knew Calamity Jane. Uh, moving on to the next question, though. Hey, your next question is 
What is the name of the device used in Wicked, the musical, to defy gravity? Having a bit of deja vu here, Dee? This is a question might have featured last week, so uh, let's hope that uh, whoever was there last week would get this one right. Is it the defier, the levitator, the fly, or the floater? And as it was said last week, I would have thought it would be the broom. <laughs> 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 but, it's, but it's not. I'm thinking the Grimmery. I'm, I, I'm having severe deja vu. Yeah, I'm hoping all the rest of the questions are going to be different. Yeah, me too. You would hope so. Yeah. I don't know who's put this together. <laughs> oh, and still, a lot of people got this one right. Well done to everyone who watched last week. <laughs> yeah, good memories, good memories. Uh, it's the Levitator. I like that. For some reason I had it in my head that it was the fly, I'm not sure why, because I actually hosted it last week, so I should have really well, known that. The fly, um, is that what the, the fly of the different backdrops and scenery, I feel? But I might yeah. be wrong, who knows? Let's move on to the next question. <laughs> I was doing that the whole time and nobody could oh, no. <laughs> Your next question is... In which musical did the heroine wash that man right out of her hair? Uh, is it hair? South Pacific, Legally Blonde, or Sister Act. I'm going to sing it now for a day. You're going to go, I'm going to wash that man right out of my hair. That was lovely, Reese. Really, Thank really you. well done. Have you ever auditioned for a professional production? Because I Well, actually was the lead role in this musical, so I know the answer. Wow. Yeah. In a professional production? In a professional production? Wow, that's amazing. Good job. I was, hey. Hair. <laughs> <laughs> in a production of, let's see... South Pacific. Pacific. <laughs> that famous, lovely, loving musical about World War II. Uh, we, we do love it. Mm -hmm. We do love South Pacific. Okay, let's move on to the next question. <laughs> Moving on. So your next question is... Which musical is currently playing at the Adelphi Theatre in London's West End? Is it, um, is this on your screens? Yeah. Waitress the Musical, Kinky Boots, Live Never Dies, I think that's what <laughs> they Live Never Dies, <laughs> or Evita. Um, wow, that famous sequel to Phantom of the Opera, Live Never Dies. <laughs> the famous, the, fa the famous sequel to Phantom of the Emperor. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the last question in this round, so let's, let's hope, see how we do. Uh, let's see how we do, and then we'll get the leaderboard up. Um, it's Weirdress the Musical. Wow, well done. Mm. I wouldn't have guessed that. I would have said Kinky Boots. I, well, that's, that's me. I could be lying, but I did think that Kinky Boots was at the Adelphi. I don't know. Oh, I did. Oh, I've, uh, I'm just being told in my ear that <laughs> in all the of ear. them were at the Adelphi at some point. Wow, and it's Weirdress at the moment. At this moment in time. Okay, wow. let's move on. I think we're going to go to the leaderboard. The leaderboard. Um, okay, next, let's, let's, let's find see out. how the leaderboard's looking. Here we go. That's the wrong side. That's embarrassing. It's down there. <laughs> oh, next question. The Theatre oh. Royal Drury Lane famously has such a large stage that it could house which other theatre on its stage? Is it the Palace, the Adelphi, Her Majesty's Theatre or Fortune Theatre? Now, I'm really glad that this, um, I hope this theatre has a better production value than this quiz because um, yes, we didn't so. know that that was the end of that wasn't the end of that round I feel um, like I'm never going to repeat anything the producer says in my ear again actually I, I know that's... I'm hearing from the producer that you can't do it again I'm very sorry um... <laughs> <laughs> brilliant okay, okay so the correct answer was ooh fortune theatre that must be a little uh, so uh, that's currently showing the woman in black I'm getting in my ear. But yeah. uh, from uh, what the producer said so far and how truthful that's been, it could be a lie. So it look it up. Be, it could be in the heights. <laughs> it could be. I don't think it is, though. I don't think okay. it is. Okay, let's see what's going to happen next. Is it going to be knows? another question? Is it going to be a Fingers leaderboard? Crossed. We're in this together, folks. <laughs> what's the next song? I Merry don't know Christmas, why I just Maggie Thatcher. <laughs> Thank you for your continued support, Chris Grant, in making this beautiful website. <laughs> Here we go. What's it going to um, be? What's it going to be? We'll find out together. It's quite an exciting... Um... Oh, oh it's, it's the leaderboard. leaderboard. Get in. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Look, there's some brilliant names right there. I can't wait to read them out. Who's Caitlin D. Quizmaster Virtual? I'm sure it's... that's you. <laughs> it's not. It's not me. 
<laughs> so in first place, we've got Corona Cook. Corona Cook, brilliant name. And the fastest is Caitlin Day Quizmaster Birchall. Oh, I'm really, really... Oh, Corona oh Corona's Cook's... the fastest, sorry. Not Caitlin Day Quizmaster Birchall. Not Caitlin Day Quizmaster I do Birchall. feel the need to say that Caitlin Day Quizmaster Birchall, actual Caitlin Day Quizmaster Birchall, isn't playing. Because that's me. Well, well um, I've got um, who else is we've got the L33 again. I remember them from last week. The Pines, I think that's a new addition. I, I want to say that's the that's Glennis Perry and, and Glennis Flynn. Sorry, I, it was my producer and Matt. Yeah, they're giving us the wrong. <laughs> um, we've got, <laughs> got Dan Schilling somewhere there doing terrible. Who's Puffy? I want to know Puffy. who's Puffy because Chris Puffy uh, isn't allowed to play here, so. <laughs> Oh, God, brilliant. Okay, well done, everybody, for that round. Let's move on. Yeah. So, um, producer in my ear, what is the next round? Producer in my ear, laughing's no good. Just hearing a lot of wheeze in there. Oh, it's the music <laughs> round. Get ready to listen. It's the, the music round. live on Facebook oh, Live. End of round one again, who is in the lead? Well, we already know it's Corona. Not Facebook episode. Live. It's not Facebook Live, is it? You need to listen on the YouTube Live. It's not live. We'll just carry on, carry on. Like. Nobody knows what's going on, everybody. This is what I'm gaining. Did you expect anything less? Okay, the music round. Do not listen live on Facebook Live if it's a lie to you. There is no Facebook <laughs> Live. It's a lie to you. Make, so make sure, sure you're on YouTube. Please <laughs> take it away. <laughs> okay, make sure you're on YouTube or on the link so you can listen to the music on this. It's really important so you answer the question. Okay. So here comes the music for the very first question. Um, everybody listen up. I'm quite excited to hear what it's going to be. Who knows what miracles you can achieve? You can achieve. Oh, I love that I song. I love that song so much. I've just added that in. Who knows what miracles you can achieve? Really, I'm really sad because... Um, I hope this doesn't give it the answer away to anyone, but um, nothing beats uh, the previous X Factor winners uh, version of this song, <laughs> Leon Jackson. That's my personal favourite. Okay, so the answers could be the movie in my mind from Miss Saigon, uh, Fearless from Mean Girls, When You Believe from The Prince of Egypt, or I Know Him So Well from Chess. Let's hear it again. This one is not fing fastest finger first. I feel like I should tell you that as well. But also, I'm getting a bit of delay in my. I'm just wondering if we can sort that out there. I think that's just a repeat from someone listening to the live stream when there shouldn't be. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> So let's see who won there. Okay, right. so 16 people got it right when, with When You Believe. And although The Prince of Egypt isn't the most popular musical, I think a lot of people will know uh, the famous Leon Jackson's version of that song, which might have given <laughs> oh, it away slightly. It was lovely. But I have to say, I am in love with this musical at the moment, so I'm a bit oh, obsessed. That's why I've included this this week. It's, it's really, really great. I like, the, I like the song Footprints in the Sand, which, Brilliant. funnily enough, is a song by another X Factor winner. What I like, it's Leona. So, I know, it's almost like they've gotten some sort of a... Never mind. Okay. Anyway, let's move on <laughs> to the next song. So the next song coming into your ear holes now, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, the lines are misty in the river. Okay, let's hear that one well, again. That's all we get. That's a short excerpt. Oh, the lines are misty in the river. Okay, so uh, these options are, I'm sorry, me and Bruce were both waiting to uh, read them out there. Uh, on My Own from Les Miserables, Burn from Hamilton, Quiet from Matilda the Musical, or I'm Not That Girl from Wicked. So do we want to hear it one more time? Let's hear that oh. again, yeah. Okay, so what I've done this week is I've actually shortened all the excerpts to about five to six seconds to make it harder for people. 
People who are going to get these questions right are die hard, die hard musical theatre fans. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Yeah. Um, because hopefully that all of these people watching are die hard musical theatre fans, or if not, it should give them some. So let's of... hear it one more time, shall we? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. A misty in the river. Okay, so 15 people going right with on my own from the maze. Well done to those people. Lots of diehard um, musical theatre fans in the audience. Yeah, yeah, very good ears you've got there. Very good ears. <laughs> Compliment and the audience ears. That's what you like to see, ladies and gents. Okay. Let's move on to the next one, shall we? Yeah, I think Someone that's a good idea. Someone who, like it or not, will want you to share a little... A Oh, let's hear that one again. Bit of a curveball. And can we see the options this time? Someone who, like it or not, will want you to share a little. A okay. So, what is the song? Is it Rather Be Me from Mean Girls, Being Alive from Company? Um Papa from Oliver, or Can't Say No from Oklahoma. <laughs> I do like Oklahoma, the musical. Brilliant. Let's hear that again, shall we? Yeah. Someone who, like it or not, will want you to share a little. A Ooh, what's it gonna be? This is a a curveball. This one, it's 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 quite a tricky one. This because it's not from the original cast album. I've oh, taken it from a, a more recent cast album, but it is very correct. Producer Maya, who's just guessed that one there. <laughs> yes, you've got that correct. Let's hear a much too much to take. That's the that next song. song. Who like it so or that's not, it. We'll want you to share a little. A Okay, a little sneak snippet for the next one there. So the answers for this one. Ooh, look at that. Completely split. Oh, Seven wow. people going with being alive, which is the correct answer. So well done to those people. See, that was the, the Rosalie Craig, I want to say, her version. Um, the West End new version. There's a version of it that Glee do, which um, oh. I don't actually love that much. So I see. Well, we're just about ready to play the next one. I think uh, <laughs> let's let's hear it in your ear holes coming up now. Please. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Much to take him in, more to Let's hear that one again, shall we? Yeah. Much to take him in, more to Okay. So your options are down here. Um, look, what is the song? Look at your phone. The options are Truly Scrumptious from Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Morning of the Dragon from Miss Saigon, um, Shadowlands from The Lion King, or The Circle of Life from The Lion King. Oh, let's hear it again. It's a very short excerpt there. Very short. I'm sure people are going to get this one. Though. I would hope so. Yeah. Because um, there are a lot of. Um, actually, I won't say it. No, no, let's not say it. I was going to say, I was going to throw in a little red sparrow there, but I don't want to say A red sparrow. <laughs> a red sparrow. What do you like? Do we little have time to listen to it one more time? I think we do. Let's have a listen. Far too much to take in here. More too far. Thank God that was the right song. Okay, <laughs> and your answer's coming to you now, live on your screen. Here we go. Um... Let's have a look. The correct answer was, of course, the circle of life. And we've got an overwhelm overwhelming majority of 21 people getting that one right. So well done to those people. Yep. I would like to think that that one person who put them on of the dragon just really wants to hear that song. Yeah. And I can honestly relate. It's, it's yeah. a personal favourite. Are you sure it's not you, Dee? Are you not playing on your phone? <laughs> no, no, it's not. Fair enough. It's, it's really not. OK, shall we move on to the next question, Reese? Let's move on. Straight on. Swagger and short. Brilliant song. Let's hear that again. Your swagger and your bearing and just the right clothes you're wearing. Your swagger and your bearing and just the right clothes you're wearing. 
Okay, let's see what your options are. So this song, what is the song? What is the song? Your options are Naughty from Matilda, Tomorrow from Annie, Ring of Keys from Fun Home, or The Letter from Billy Elliot. I really like this song. Brilliant song, this. I mean, I, I like to choose the ones uh, for my friends. You know, I feel like we'll get some enjoyment out of them when I when I put them on. Yeah. Same with the possible answers. I know you like more than the dragon, do you? Yeah, I do like more than the dragon. Sadly, it's not an option this time. No, nope, it's not. No. We've got Naughty, <laughs> nope. Tomorrow, Ring of Keys, and The Letter. That lovely song from Billy Elliot where, with his nana. <laughs> it's not his nana, it's his mum. Or his mum. Um, but... Uh, no, I, I do really like this song. Um, I, do, I don't really have anything else to say about it other than I find it enjoyable, but not Brilliant. quite as enjoyable as The Morning of the Dragon. Okay, three, two, one, and here are <laughs> your in there, answers. Look at that. <laughs> oh, a lot of people got this right. Well done. 15 people going for Ring of Keys from Fun Home there. Brilliant song. She was an old school. Um, and then we've got four people. Nobody got that reference, Naughty. Reese. No, they didn't. You're right. Sorry. You did, though, didn't you? <laughs> I did. That's all I care about. <laughs> Moving on. Brilliant song. Mm. Let's find out what your options are for this. Not song. those options. Ship is in the open now. See if you can spot him. Another remote coming up from the bottom. Okay, so your options are Alexander Hamilton from Hamilton, A Winter's Ball from Hamilton, Guns and Ships from Hamilton, and The Adams Administration from Hamilton. Now I'm seeing a technique, Reese, that was used in uh, last week's quiz where you put that's, all of the options from Hamilton. That's correct. That is correct. Let's mm. hear it again. The reason I've used that technique, D, is because, you know, them four songs on there, and actually there might be another one, um, all use a similar sort of musical material. So you really need to know your stuff to know which one it is. I actually wrote to uh, Lynn Manuel Miranda and said, <laughs> Lynn Manuel Miranda and said, "Listen, Lynn, um, scrap the pit band. I'll do it vocally, all of yeah. it. Um, yeah. So, if you get some tickets to the West End for next year, you won't see that because he didn't say yes. And look at that; um, it's completely split the voters there. Wow. So, um, the correct answer was Alexander Hamilton from Hamilton. Well done. The first song. The first song on the show. Mm. The ship is in their harbour now. So Hamilton, you know, Hamilton's my favourite musical, actually, Day. I know last week I said it was last five years, but uh, it's definitely Hamilton. <laughs> Are you sure? Are you sure? Can you, can mean, you make that decision definitively? I've got, I've got a Hamilton tattoo, so I feel like I should uh, I should keep that as my favourite musical. Yeah. You know. Where's your last five years tattoo, eh, Reese? Eh? Well, <laughs> I'm not going to tell you that, Day. <laughs> wow. Moving on to the next question on that note. Cars out. Oh, wow. Song. Let's hear that one again, shall we? Carves out a person and makes you believe it's all true. Well, here we go. So your options for this one are... I've tried to it level. That's Ooh, not the right song, Chris. Them. Out oh. There we go. Makes you believe it's all true. Fabulous editing. Okay, is it Watch What Happens from Newsies? Is it She Used To Be Mine from Waitress? Is it Out Tonight from Rent? Or is it Prayer from Come From Away? Fun fact, Reese, uh, this musical is actually written by one of my least favourite people. I really, really don't, don't like this person. I have person. to say, I really like this person. I don't like this musical at all. Wow, I really like this musical. Um, but shall we listen to it one more time? I Let's do like hear it. Cars out of person makes you believe it's so Lovely. Okay, so make sure you've got your options in now. I, I think we're holding out for some, maybe. 
Might be wrong. Yeah, a couple, a couple more, I would think. But um, another fun fact is that at the Tony Awards, they sang this song, um, the people from the musical. I'm not going to say because that would give the answer away. Yeah. And one of the cast members does an excellent job. Really, wow. really good. Um, fun fact. But the person who wrote the musical, not so much, in my opinion. Anyway, uh, 11 people went for She Used to Be Mine from Waitress, which is the right answer. Well done to those people. Seven people going with Pray from Come From Away, which if you've heard Pray sounds nothing like that song. Um, but uh, <laughs> good guess. Good guess. <laughs> Oh, are you waiting for the next round then? I think let's listen to the next song. We've got another song. Cars out of <laughs> no, not, not this it. one. Not this song. It's actually the next song that we're waiting I for. I've tried to hit levels of moisture from desert to mud. I've tried to hit levels of moisture from desert to mud. Okay, so the options are going to come up on your screen very soon. Um, what is this song? Is it uh, Learn Your Lessons Well from Godspell, Turn It Off from Book of Mormon, Grow For Me from Little Shop of Horrors, or Fright of Their Lives from Beetlejuice? I've tried to with levels of moisture from desert to mud. See, the funny thing is, Dee, is that by the time you went, shall we listen to it one more time? I've already started. All right, let's that, just that was let's a just, complete that was a completely wrong. Let's song just then. stop there. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What's he like? I'm not going to speak again until until, until I'm, I know it's safe to speak. <laughs> you never know these days. You, know, you, you never, really never it, know. Apparently, it's safe to speak. So let's hear it one more time, shall we? I've tried to <laughs> with levels of moisture from desert to mud. That I... Brilliant. This is one of the first musicals I've seen this day. Is it? Yeah. Uh, my mother, Michelle Birchall, she really loves this one. Oh, good one. It's, it's possibly a favourite for anybody who ever does a trivia quiz on my mother. Um, <laughs> but 14 people <laughs> went for growth for me for Little Shot of Horrors. I actually got my plan out and started dancing with it just there, but then I realised that I was probably giving the answer away slightly, so wow. I, put that, I put that away. Yeah, maybe best idea. Four people for Learn Your Lessons Well from Godspell. I'm not going to lie, I wrote this, um, and I thought Learn Your Lessons Well was a song from Godspell, and I was pretty sure, and it turns out it is, but I was just guessing the whole time, so it could have been absolutely wrong there. <laughs> okay um, and on that note we'll move on to the next question Reese. <laughs> best story you've heard in a long time oh it really is so then three words there we're going to hear that again <laughs> and we're going to start that one again Okay, Kate. so your options are on the screen. Dee, would you like to read your options out? Yeah, I can do, Rhys. Um, okay. So, is it Brigadoon? <laughs> Am I saying that right? I've got no it, idea. That is correct. Brigadoon from Brigadoon. Is it Murano from Chess? Is it Who Will Buy from Oliver? Or is it Tell Me It's Not True from Blood Brothers? Let's hear it again. Brigadoon from Brigadoon. What a hit. Brilliant song. I love Brigadoon. I've actually um, never heard of Brigadoon. Maybe what? I'm not. Oh, it's brilliant. Maybe I'm not as good of a diehard musical theatre fan as you. Well, I've seen, so I've seen Jarrow Musical Theatre Company do it years and years ago, and it was fantastic. It's basically about this little Scottish village that appears in the mist once every hundred years. Oh, Brigadoon, lovely, Brigadoon. Lovely show. Really lovely good show. show. Okay, and most people went right there with uh, Tell Me It's Not True from well Blood done, Brothers. Well done, but I did trick some people with Brigadoon. Four people were going with Brigadoon from Brigadoon. It's because we were chatting away about Brigadoon. They thought we were Lovely. correct on Brigadoon, but sadly, <laughs> Brigadoon was not the right answer. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, what am I like? Okay, shall we move on to the next round there, Reese? Let's do it. Last song. Oh, this is the last one. Oh, what a... Sh Shame. I do like the music round. Last song. Are you sure? Chris, Chris, are you sure it's the last song? We've got it definitely the last song, so it's probably the second last song. Let's hear it. Open up your mind, let 
let your fantasies unwind. I can confirm this is the last song. Let's hear it again. Open up your mind. Let your f- unwind. Okay, so your options are for this one. Is it Footprints in the Sand um, from Prince of Egypt, that classic Leona Lewis tune? Uh, is it Music of the Night from Phantom of the Opera? Oh, get my face away from the screen, Chris. Is it Salah Salou from Susical? Oh, I can't see the last option. It's uh, Memphis Lives in Me from Memphis. Open up your mind, let your fantasies unwind. I've got side problems. Yeah, you Can't. do. Make sure you've got your <laughs> make sure you've got your thoughts in there, guys. Is it footprints Open on the sand? Music of mind, the let your fantasies <laughs> on <wide. laughs> Or is it Sala Salou from Susical? Or Memphis Lives in Me from Memphis? Open or Music of the Night from Oh, that one. Like. So if we just have a look at how people voted there, um, we'll see that uh, Music of the Night got the most votes, which is in fact the right answer. Um, footprints, isn't it Footprints in the Sand? From I thought it was Prince Footprints on the Sand. Footprints on the Sand. It's on the... Uh, ah. I've been listening to too much Leona Lewis, it seems, because that's hers is footprints in the sand. I'm wondering why Leona's in the sand. Has she built herself a hole and then buried herself inside of it? <laughs> no, it's just her footprints in the sand. It's just her footprints in the nothing, sand. Nothing else on her body, just her footprints I in see. the sand. Makes sense. Let's see the winners of this round, shall we, Dean? Okay. What do you think? Mo- moving on to the leaderboard, I think that's a good idea. So here's the next round, then. <laughs> so here's the next song in that round. <laughs> Okay, so it looks like oh, we're gonna have a change Corona here. Corona Cook, Quarantine, and Dan Shell did the best in that round, um, but Corona Cook keeps that point on point on top with Caitlin D. Quizmaster Virtual. Well done. In second place, and yeah. Quarantine in third. We've got. Do do we think Corona Cook is Lily or Colette or well, Tom? It could, well, it could be. Lily. <laughs> I'm going to guess Lily. We've got some great I think it's names here. Lily. We've got the Quizard of Oz. Family. Look at that. I love that name, the Quizard of Oz. Brilliant. What about mm. having paid next term's rent, rents Ooh. in capitals, like the musical rent? Um, and then we've got Harvey Strumble. Wow. Who knew Harvey Strumble? And I'd like to say right now a moment of silence for all those names that we don't see because they don't yeah. make it on the leaderboard. Next week, if you uh, rub Absolutely. up on your musical theatre knowledge, then maybe, just maybe, we'll see you on the board. But until then, your uh, names remain a mystery to me. Moment um, of silence for everyone. <laughs> Let's have a word from our sponsors, Dee, shall we? Yeah, Here's I think that'd be a great idea. A word from our sponsors, Photo Group Newcastle. Don't leave it to the unprofessionals. Go with Photo Booth Newcastle. One, two, three, listen. Our sponsors, Photo Booth Newcastle, um, and they are, I believe, taking bookings for once this is all over. So if you have an event that is in the future somewhere and you believe it might still happen, uh, good luck. And also, you could ring Photo Booth Newcastle and take lots of photos of the event. Absolutely. Um, you know, you've got to support your local businesses. Uh, yep. Please, please support them. They'll fold otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> and Photo Booth Newcastle is actually maybe even more local than you believe because it's actually not even... Um, Based in Newcastle, it's all it's all a lie. Wow. Um, <laughs> <Hang on that. laughs> 
Hashtag, Hashtag love salta inside. Uh, <laughs> we said didn't. that at the exact same time. <clears throat> Do you think everyone can tell that Chris is feeding this poison into our ears? Um, I hope so, because I don't want them to think that it's coming directly from me at all. I agree. Um, so uh, after that lovely little ad, shall we move on to the next round? Yes, let's do it. Uh, I don't know what the next round is. What is it? <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? I feel like, Chris, can you tell me, was this one made by anyone special? So th- this one was, this round was made by Emily Wright, our wardrobe, wardrobe mistress. And Emily's really went out of the box with this one. She's done something she's never done before. So as our wardrobe mistress, she's written um, a round about costumes. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we'll all enjoy that. I don't actually know really how this round's going to work. I'll find that out with you. But uh, I believe that we are going to get a photo of a costume and then there's going to be options of which musical it's from. I like that. Good yeah. Um, so, Emily Wright, thank you very much for your continued... Okay, so are you ready to get going with this round? I believe we are. Let's have a look at the first question then. The costume round, ready to go. Get ready. Oh, look at all those little love hearts coming away. How sweet. Everyone loves it. Mm, I love it. I love, hashtag love to South Side. Okay, so. Oh, this one is Fastest Finger First, I believe. So which musical is this costume from? Wow. It's a little, it's a little red and red and green number, very Christmassy. Although that's given nothing away. Hope. Okay, so your options are Phantom of the Opera, Chicago, Natasha Pierre and the Great Comet of 1812, or The Wiz. Wow, uh, I think I know which one this one's from. Yeah, I, w- I think I would know this one as well. I have to say. Mm. Um, if you can't actually see the answers, just scroll down to the bottom of the screen and hopefully they should come up. But um, here is what everyone went for. So there we go. only four people went right with Phantom of the Opera, but this is actually a costume from the fan- from the opera in Phantom of the Opera. That's correct. So it's it not is. actually from the story of Phantom yeah. of the Opera. Yeah, Emily. So it's a bit of a... Bit of a... Bit of a little red sparrow Emily's put in there. Red sparrow! Um, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I was thinking Phantom of the Opera. Dave, what were you thinking? I also thought it was fun the other. Um, that was on YouTube live um, for the, this weekend, so I actually watched it. it so the 25th anniversary was fantastic. It was real good. Mm. Let's move Enjoyed on to the it. next next question, shall we? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Fastest finger first. <laughs> okay, Ooh. so which band wore this? Ooh, which band? So not musical, now, which band wore this? Is it Coldplay, One Direction, The Beatles, or The Rolling Stones? Very, it's very uh, colourful, isn't it? They're very colourful. Um, I, I know yeah. this one. Do you know this one, Dee? Um, I've, uh, I don't. I won't no? Lie. Well, this is from a very famous album by this band where they feature on the front wearing these costumes. I don't want to give too much away. Hmm. Um, um, I feel like I probably... This is one of the ones where I feel like I probably should know it. I just uh, don't. So I'm well, going to find out the answer right now, though. Um, Look at that. The Beatles. I did think it was going to be the Beatles, you know, but... Yeah. Chris has just fell off the chair in our ear there, so he's screaming and flapping like a little girl. Oh, it's ever it's ever so distracting. What's he like? Well, the Beatles uh, wore them costumes on the Sgt. Pepper's uh, Lonely Hearts Club Band album. It was a brand new look for them. It was meant to be looking like an Edwardian band. Mm. Um, so that's a little bit of trivia for you there. Let's move on to the yeah. next question, shall we? I never liked that. Never liked that album. I always thought it was a bit wordy. Wow. Bit of a bit of a tongue twister, if you will. Well, well yeah. Anyway. If we move on to the next question. Who wears this costume? Honestly, I just thought it was a, um, a photo of that person there. <laughs> wow. So, um, D? Is it Mary Poppins? Is it Miss Honey? Galinda? Or Maureen? Maureen? Just from down the street. <laughs> Could be anyone. Any I Maureen. Do, I think she means Maureen from Rent. But, um, I think it is from Rent, but I'm going to say it's my Nana Maureen. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> Maureen from down the street. Yeah. Um... I got something in my mind there, but I forgot what it was. Um, So, a lot of people got this one right. Um, 
Ooh, Mary yeah. Poppins. 20 people for Mary Poppins. One person going for Manana, Maureen, and one going for Garlinda. Now, I, I have it on really good... Um, really authority? Good, really good authority. That uh, the actual person who plays Mary Poppins on Broadway at the moment is really good. Um, and there's a... A video on YouTube that's about two hours long and it's Broadway stars singing Disney songs and um, Broadway Mary's actually ever so excellent in it. Oh, Broadway Mary. I'll have to check Broadway Mary out. Let's me- <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm gibbering away. <laughs> okay, so here it comes. The next question. Next photo. Okay. What's it going to be? A character band? Which iconic Ooh. singer wore these? That was a lot of them. Wow. Barbara Streisand is your first option. <laughs> the second option is Cher. I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'm not doing impressions for the other two. Whitney Houston or Celine Dion. Oh, um, so we've got Barbara Streisand, Cher, Whitney Houston, or Celine Dion. Okay, I mean, I've got an idea for this one. Do I think it's based on you know? Um, Knowing the answer. It is. That's that's <laughs> that's the trick of these. Uh, yeah, I think I know this one as well. Um, one of the pro- producer's favourites, yep. I believe. When we say one of the producer, we mean only, and by one of his favourites, we mean the favourite. And of course, the answer <laughs> is Cher, with Cher. 16 points. Mm-hmm. Didn't have that lovely little blue number she wore, though, with all of the tassels. That was that was a, a sure personal got, highlight. I'm sure we should have a photo somewhere of... Um, of someone dressed up as Cher. I might, we might have to find that at some point for you, for you all your lovely viewers out there. Yeah, Chris, Chris, if we can, if we can get that, that would be ever so good. Um, but for now, we'll just move on to the next question. That's Keep that all in mind, though, folks, um, and just message Chris over and over for that photo. Anyway, moving on. So, answer fast to get more points. Which villain wears this? Ooh. Okay, so your options are Audrey 2, <laughs> <laughs> the massive plant, uh, Velma <laughs> Kelly, Jafar, or Scar. Wow. Is Velma Kelly a villain? I don't know. Maybe in the story, but she's the heroine, isn't I don't know. But what I, I want to address the audience right now and say Chris is such a fan of Shay that for his 30th birthday, <laughs> We threw a Cher themed birthday party and all dressed up as Cher from different mm. videos and photos of her. So I'm sure we'll get something like that up for you to see because that's going to be enjoyable for a lot of you. Now, the results um, looks like 18 people got it right with Scar. Well done to that. Two people Good going people. for the plant. Audrey, Audrey 2. 2. <laughs> I'll get a photo of Audrey 2 on my phone just uh, in case nobody's seen what Audrey 2 yeah. looks like. I think this is probably going to be a little bit tight, that number for Audrey 2 to fit in. Yeah, I would. She's quite round, isn't she? She's quite big. She's quite big. She is. Um, but just in case, just can everybody see that? That's Audrey 2 there. A massive man eating plant. Yeah, so. Um, I was about to call her a cannibal, but she's not really a cannibal. She's not human. What are you like, um, yeah? Let's move on. Yeah, to the next what, <laughs> what am I like? Audrey 2 in that little jazzy number. <laughs> so, your next question. Next question. <laughs> Answer fast to get more points. Which former Mickey Mouse Club star wore this? Ooh. We've got Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera, Kerry Russell. Or DD Mango? Magno? DD Magno? Mango? Magno? I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know who that is. I don't, I don't Magno the answer. Oh, there you go. I do think I know the answer to this question overall, though. Um, from a Halloween many moons ago. Um, so, let's say most people went for Britney Spears. And that is the right answer. This is the uh, costume that, of, of course, she wore in uh, that iconic Toxic music video iconic on the plane. Toxic. I, cl- I would consider Tonic icon. I can't speak, right? Moving on. <laughs> okay, let's move right on <laughs> to the next question. Uh, what is our next question, Mr. Producer? Mr. Producer. Answer fast to get more points. Just in case you didn't know, answer fast to get more points. So, which movie musical are these costumes from? These are The Roy Horror Picture Show, Hairspray, Mamma Mia, or Cats. I'd love to know where these photos have come from. Do you think 
Emily's done some sort of costume tour and taken them. <laughs> I, I really, really believe that. I'm not going to lie to you. I think you've hit the nail on the head there. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> that little, that little shack in Yorkshire. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long way. Okay, so um, as a lot of people knew, uh, the correct answer was Mamma Mia. 22 of you got that right. And one person went for the Rocky Horror Picture Show, um, in which they barely wear any costumes at all, to be honest. Yeah, that's true. I think we're going to... Emily says they're from her personal collection, what I've just heard in my little ear there. Oh, gorgeous. I wouldn't like to see what's in the rest of Emily's <laughs> personal collection, but let's move on. <laughs> Yeah, let's move, let's move right on, shall we? If you know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who wore this outfit at the 1985 Live Aid concert? Wow, was it Rami Malek, Malek Freddie Mercury, Bob Geldof or Martin Kemp? Well, I mean, two of these answers, so... You know, I think just trying to pull a fast one on with somewhere. Uh, no, like, I agree. I was just thinking that. You know, Rami Malek famously played Freddie Mercury in mm. Bohemian Rhapsody. Um, of course, Bob Geldof organised Live Aid. I don't know who Martin Kemp is. Um, so time's up and I'm just going to say, somebody's gone for Rami Malek and I imagine that they didn't know who that is because he was born in 1981, as I've just looked up, so he would have been four years old. <laughs> it's quite a large costume for a four-year-old, oh, but fantastic. you know. You do you. And most people got that correct with uh, Freddie Mercury there. Freddie. Freddie. Okay. <laughs> Freddie. <laughs> Let's see the next one. Have we got another one, Mr. Producer? I think we do. Oh, we can do it again. Thank you, Mr. Producer. Okay, so answer fast to get more points, as you all know by now. <laughs> um, what is the name of the leading lady that wears this? Okay, so your options are Christina, Eva Perone, uh, Mrs. Lovett or Alphabet. And I'd like to point out, I believe that this is the costume in the forefront of the image. Yes. Because it could be that red little number at the back. It which, could um, be the one from The Handmaid's Tale in the background there, yeah. Yeah, but <laughs> I don't think, I think it's the black, the black, the black little gown in the front. Yeah. The black. <laughs> little black dress, yeah. This had you, you're both so <laughs> smart. Smart. Okay. Look at that. 18 people going right with Elphaba from Wicked, of course. Two people for Ava Perone. Two people from Christina. Uh, I'm mm. guessing that's from Phantom of the Opera. And one person from Mrs. Lovett from Sweeney Todd. But most people went right there with Elphaba. Which Rats. was. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that um, my little my little song that I sang helped them along there. But yeah. um, it's no Little something. black, little black, little black dress. <laughs> not that song. Not that song, no, of course not. This Let's song. move on. Here we go. This had you. <laughs> this had you. Who can get more points if you answer quick? What is okay, so icon <laughs> for this dress? Okay, so is it Cindy Lauper, Madonna, <laughs> Janet Jackson, <laughs> or Olivia or, Newton John? Or you can all, we'll also accept Mrs. Jackson if you're naughty. Okay, so we've got Cindy Lauper, Madonna, Janet Jackson, or Olivia Newton John. Um. No capes, just no a dress. Capes. It's just a dress. Yeah. Um, okay, so we've got about five seconds left on this one, and then we'll see what the correct answer is. Let's I think see. I know this one as well. But I'm you not know. too sure. Madonna! Madonna! This was not, however, one at the Brit Awards 2015. <laughs> <laughs> Where she fell on her cape, because this one had no cape. No cape. No kip. So, yep, 20 people went correctly with that one. Um, and then two people each for Cindy and Olivia. And one person <laughs> Olivia. went for uh, Jeanette. Olivia. Jeanette. Olivia. And one person for Jeanette Jackson. Jeanette. Um, so, if we move on to the next question, is there any more questions in this round, Mr. Producer? No, oh, straight no, to the, we're leaderboard. On the leaderboard. So, let's see what's happened here. Oh, okay, no, we we'll went go back. Up, let's go board. straight on to the All leaderboard. Board. Oh, there's going to be a reshuffle. Is there? Oh, oh there has been. Caitlin D. Quizmaster Virtual absolutely smashed that one. Well done. And didn't quite take the lead. Not quite. Very close, though. Corona Cook is still in first place. 
we've got Caitlin D, Quizmaster Virtual in second and is also the fastest. And Good job, got... Caitlin D, Quizmaster Virtual. Well done. <laughs> then we've got Quizzed of Oz and Quarantine, and then a load of others that we can't bother to read out. And I've noticed as well that the um, leaderboard hasn't changed that much, but uh, I don't think Drama Llamas was in First the... time I've seen Drama Llamas. Yeah. Um, I'd love to know who Caitlin D, Quizmaster Virtual is. I think I can guess. I've got, I've, I've got, I've got a feeling. I've got a good idea. <laughs> it's hard to tell sometimes. Um, We're going to have a little listen uh, to someone from Stamp or something. <laughs> What's happening? What? We've Ellen got Knowles. Ellen Knowles. Oh, lovely! She's going to sing her song from a version for a song for the <laughs> NHS. For the <laughs> NHS. Good, good you, job. Take it away, Ellen. Nothing lasts and see, but when you wash your hands, see the soap from go and you to just wash your hands. Come on, all these things I need to do, so just stay inside. Going nowhere, see, so just keep listening. Can't stop to clean it, still stop to keep. Got to beat this, so just wash your hands. was a lovely message there from Ellen. Um, don't stop the cleaning. Um, don't stop the cleaning. It's all that old thing, isn't it? One wipe is all it takes. Oh, we've got one Ooh. more here from Caitlin Whe Whittle. Sorry, Caitlin Whittle. Whittle. Let's Whittle. have a listen to that, Caitlin. Take it away. Not this kid. Silence is a charm for the whole human race. Please don't let us stand. We Okay, so thank you to Chris for ensuring that I uh, was dancing in silence for around 15 seconds there on your lovely, live stream. Lovely, yeah. Um, well done to well done to Caitlin Whittle. Thank you for submitting that. And, and to Ellen remember, as well. And to Ellen, of course. Thank you both for that. And just remember when we're doing our weekly quiz, if you want to submit some more videos, give us some options to show. Uh, keep them coming. Stay at home, stay safe, protect the NHS. Yeah, and big claps to all the key workers. See you out there on Thursday at 8. Fantastic. Okay. We've got one more round coming up in just a few moments, so don't go anywhere. Okay. I'm not. <laughs> I'm certainly <laughs> not going anywhere. We've got a Phil. Uh, I don't know who Phil is. I've been it's told Phil. Phil. Phil? Where's Phil? Okay. Let's have a Phil. Oh, it was my Phil oh. D over to you. Okay, um, let me think of... I, I don't know anyone called Phil. Nope. However, I did see... Oh, never mind. Thank God we've been saved by the bell. <laughs> On we go then with round four. <laughs> I'm really upset. I was going to tell one of my favourite jokes. Oh, well, go on. Let's hear it, D. Let's hear it. Okay, it's really not very good um, and nobody's going to laugh, but um, I was walking down the street the other day um, and I saw one of my friends who's uh, recently had a child, um, not that recently, uh, four years ago, and I said, oh, hello, what's this child's name? Um, and they said, Beth. And I said, oh, what's Beth short for? And the mum said, because she's only four. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow well, i've got a question here do i've got a question yeah, it's really yeah. important that you answer this what has that got to do with the name phil <laughs> right um, okay on that note we're going to move on to round four on which is note. music and film music and film is the basis for this music round. and film music music in, in film. film footprints in the sand music and film it's what they've done is they've wrapped it up in loads of aluminium film um, cling, and cling it film a, cling film you might call it it's the other one, sorry. Um, and um, put it in the fridge. <laughs> right, music in film. Get ready. What I? I can't wait for this one. I know, I'm quite excited. Yeah, I think I recognise that music from, <laughs> from the Mentimeter.com website. 
That's not a film. No, you're right there. Music Call on web- there. Music on website. Footprint on the sand. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Reese, do you want to read the questions out for this one? I will do. Which movie musical was directed by Barbara Streisand? Okay, so do 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 do. Hello, Dolly, funny girl, or Yenti? Yen. Yentl, I think it is. Is that right? Yentl? Yentl. 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 So, fastest finger first. Get your fingers on your buzzers. Is it which movie musical was directed by Barbara Streisand? Hello, Dolly, funny girl, or Yentl? Yentl. Um. Wow, well, this is ever so like who wants to be a millionaire, isn't it? This fastest <laughs> finger first, Malarkey. I can't is anybody, <laughs> anyone cheating? <coughs> okay, so the correct answer was Yentl. Wow, good okay. job that you corrected me on how to pronounce that. Um, well, who, you know. Because otherwise, well, maybe, maybe nobody would have gotten it. A right. lot of people going for Funny Girl. Well, I suppose Barbara for... Streisand was in Funny Girl. She was, she was, and of course, reprised by. Um, Rachel Berry in uh, in England <laughs> uh, until she got the Rachel show and she ruined it all for herself. But we're Watch not like we're not bitter Rachel, about that. Uh, uh, so shall we move on to the next question, Reese? Why did you do it, Rachel? Sorry, yeah, let's move on. <laughs> <to the next laughs> Why did you do it, Rachel? Answer fast to get more points. Which movie musical won Best Picture at the Oscars in two thousand and three? Okay, was it Chicago, Hairspray, or Rent? Rent, 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 rent. We're not gonna pay rent. I feel like we should plug the others Pardon because me. so far we've just plugged rent. So um, Chicago, 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 Chicago. Um, <laughs> you can't stop and the lunch just your face is down the hill. Brilliant. Okay, and the answer was Chicago. 12 people got that right. Wow. Okay. Hairspray. Hairspray was not out in 2003. What years like, man? Um, what years? Eight, eight people there. Eh? Eight people. Right. Uh, moving on to the next question. <laughs> I don't know why I've all of a sudden decided to um, have a go at those eight people who voted for Hairspray. Um, those eight people get lost. I'm joking. I actually didn't know what the answer was myself. Um, no, but... neither did I. Okay, let's see the next question, shall we? Mm-hmm. Producer's just eaten. Sorry. Extremely loudly. He's always eaten, to be fair. Oh, squashies. Of course. What movie squashies. musical has the character Rooster Hannigan in it? Okay, is it Carousel? Is it Newsies? Or is it Annie? Now, I believe uh, I do know the answer to this yeah, one. Yeah, I think I know this one as well. It's quite a popular. Um, um, uh, without get, saying anything else, I can't really give it away. <laughs> I think I think maybe you already have, but thankfully this live stream's about <laughs> 10 seconds delayed on other people Thank getting God. the questions. Thank God. So They'll if they put the... hint. After they've put in the wrong answer. That's um, well, let's see what everybody's put. Because I don't think Rooster Hannigan's a particularly popular character in this musical. No, definitely not. Most people got it correct uh, with Annie. Yeah, right. Of course, we've got Miss Hannigan. Um, mm. And Rooster Hannigan is, is somehow somehow related to her. A brother, apparently. A brother. Um, and see. Rooster is the man who teams up with the lady who pretend to be Annie's parents. Because they I want see. the big books from Daddy War Books. That's right. Daddy War Books has got the big books. Okay, let's move on to the next question. On that note, about Daddy War Books, Big Books. Wow, careful there. Um, Answer faster to get more points. Which movie (laughs) musical was not based on a book? Okay, so your options for this one are, we've got three per question, I believe. Or so it has been so far. Is it Mary Poppins, The Phantom of the Opera, or Fame? Fame, um, or The Phantom of the Opera, or... Mary Poppins, it could be either of them three. Oh, the Phantom of the Opera. Um, so, I believe all movie musicals are normally based on musicals. Um, <laughs> or they are just musicals. Yeah, um, but I think the musicals have been based on books as well. So what is the correct answer here? Fame, we've got 15 people going for fame, which is correct. The right fame. answer. Fame was, of course, a TV show, I believe, in the 80s. Um, and it was then, my mom's in the 80s. Yeah, and then um, it was made into a, a film and then a much less successful reprise of that film <laughs> in the <laughs> early noughties. But let's uh, let's move on to the next question. Our producer's asking why we know all this. I'll tell you why in one word, Chris. It's because we're sad. And then we're three words for you. Really, really sad. Ex- especially Reese. Yeah. You know that? Especially Reese. Okay, thank you. And yes, I will take that pay rise. <laughs> a lot. Okay, moving on. Okay, next question. 
Here it comes. Answer fast to get more points. <laughs> I don't so, think they knew that yet. No, which movie musical takes place in Austria? Okay, is it Moulin Rouge? Is it The Sound of Music? Or is it Cabaret? Cabaret. I know, I know it's Cabaret. <laughs> um, I've actually been to the location of this filming um, wow. in Austria. I was about to say the name, but maybe that'll give it away, so no, I'm not going I went, to. I went on a bus tour. It was fantastic. Mm, I've heard that it's very nice. Um, yeah, lovely place. Yeah. Did you say anything nice there? Well, when I was there, I played in Hitler's back garden of a house that I used to own. Oh, gorgeous. Um, so, yeah, that was... Uh, okay, let's move on. Um, so <laughs> a, l- we've got, a lovely place for children. Yes, The Sound of Music, um, with 19 people going right with that. So well done to those. Of course, the correct answer. It takes place in the Austrian um, Alps area. Specifically, Reese. Specifically. Moulin Rouge, of course, takes place in... Pa- Paris? Paris. Paris. Around uh, the Montmartre area. Just where Ratatouille is based as well. Um, I've been, I've if you've seen, if you've yeah. seen that, that hit movie musical. Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> um, okay. And we know nothing about cabaret. Apparently. No one knows so anything about on. cabaret. <laughs> I know that. I know that in uh, the poster, the lady's like like this. <laughs> but that's all I've got. <laughs> See. Oh God. Oh god. Right. Um let's move on. No shoe on this presenter, let's move on. <laughs> okay. Answer fast to get more points. points. <laughs> Which movie musical did not win an Oscar for the best original song? Okay, was it Enchanted, Fame or The Muppets? So I think it's saying which of these movie musicals did not win an Oscar for the best song. There's plenty of musical movie musicals that didn't win Oscars for the best song. But you can't write in to the to the um, to us. So no, please don't complain. Just just one of those three. Um, the Muppets has actually got a great song in it uh, called "Me Party," which I had great fun with one time. <laughs> we did a pantomime. <laughs> uh, I wasn't actually told about the song um, for anybody who didn't see it, uh, and then it started to play, wow. and there was an audience there. Great fun. Okay, so 14 people going right with Enchanted did not win an Oscar for Best Original Song. Do you know what? Although, I have to say, I don't think I've actually seen Enchanted before. It, to be fair, I really like Enchanted and it does have a... Co- boppy songs, we'll call them boppy songs. I enjoy the songs. Boppy songs. Classic musical term there, boppy songs. Mm-hmm. What I will say is while we're still on this topic... <laughs> would you, <laughs> while, while we're on the topic <laughs> of Enchanted's boppy songs... Would you please consider... Donating uh, to Stamps um, um, <laughs> Bank. <laughs> if you look on the website, you've got a donate button there. We we'll really appreciate if you were to donate a pound or even uh, even five pence. Uh, it'd be fantastic. You know, go, all goes to a great cause, which is making sure that we we don't end up on the streets. Yeah. Donate to Stamps Bank. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, moving on. Um, yeah, that would be really lovely if you could do that. But uh, more importantly, let's continue with this quiz. Let's remember to answer fast to get more points. Which movie musical is also biographical? Wow. Is it The Last Five Years, Jersey Boys, or The Music Man? Hmm. So biographical, Chris, just in case you didn't realise what that meant, hun, it like sort of tells the story of uh, a biography, like of the person. A, re- a real life story. A real life story. Uh, Chris, um, a real life story it tells. What do you mean you don't understand? <laughs> the Music Man is of course uh, the biographical film about my life. No, I'm just joking. Um, <laughs> so, so um, 10 people going right with Jersey Boys there, which is, of course, no, last five years is not real, Chris, no. Um, Jersey Boys is based on um, Frankie Valli and the Four Seasons, I That's believe. correct, it is, yeah. Last five years is based on Jason Robert Brown's um, failed marriage with his wife, but I don't <laughs> think... Well, you couldn't say it's biographical, no, Chris. Loosely, Sorry, Chris is just arguing based. in my ear here, everyone. It's loosely based. It's not biographical. <laughs> Jersey Boys is biographical, which something means, like we, which means like that um, it's like actually happened. Or Rocket Man, you know, something like that. Anyway. Biographical. Moving on. You buy Chris a dictionary, I think. Okay, make sure you answer fast to get more points. <laughs> Susie and Dictionary Corner. 
In the film A Shark's Tale, who features on the song Car Wash with Christina Aguilera? At the car wash, yeah. Uh, is it Cardi B, Nicki Minaj, or Missy Elliott? Um, Cardi B, Nicki Minaj, or <laughs> <laughs> Missy Elliott? Missy Elliott always reminds me of that one song that Honey J sang on the X Factor. It was like, <laughs> I put my thing down, flip it, and reverse. It's nerve to put it down, down, down. It's not and that's filled some lovely time while people have got their answers Fantastic. in. So, so that's all um, the answers. Okay. Um, so going right there with uh, fourteen people. Uh, that's not what I meant. Fourteen people going right there with Missy Elliott. Um, well done. Um, I mean, Cardi B comes to the scene fairly recently. Yeah, I don't think she was all that popular back no, then. Same. The, the times of the Shark's with, Tale. Same with Nicki Minaj. Um, <laughs> Missy Elliott been in the game for a long time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She's an, she's an old an old hag at this. Oh, wow. Is that the right okay. thing to say? Hey, I don't I don't think that's ever the right thing to say, Dave. Let's go on <laughs> with the next question, shall we? Okay, the next question. Um, answer fast, answer to, get fast to get more points. <laughs> what is the name of the song Beyonce sings in the new Lion King movie? Okay, so is it Courage, Spark, or Spirit? All with lowercase um letters at the front of the word there. I don't know if that's on purpose. Is that is that an on purpose thing? We don't know. Lee Grant wrote this one. Uh, so big thanks. To big, her. big thanks to the continued support of the Grant um, couple. Uh, Chris Grant actually put this whole thing together um, and asked me specifically to thank him tonight. So uh, thank you, Lee Grant. <laughs> uh, Chris Grant once again. Well, um, like, uh, here's the answers. <laughs> I'm just quickly looking it up to see because I'm sure surely that is for a reason. It's called Spirit. Um, but, but on Apple Music, it does have a capital letter, so I'm, I see. I'm, I don't Lee, really... Lee, you need to get your act together, okay? Grammar's not all, all that great there. Um, I've not seen this new version, so I also I haven't. Known this one. I was quite worried that it wouldn't quite live up to the animated. Well, it is still animated, but the um, previously cartoonly animated version. Cartoonly, <laughs> also known as the original. <laughs> you could have that word. I think previously cartoonly is much catchier and Walt Disney should sure consider it, it from the grave. Uh, and anyway, on that point, let's move on to the next question. The next we, question. Answer, answer fast, fast to get more points. points. Okay. Which number in the UK charts did Let It Go from Frozen get to? So did it get to 11th place? Did it get to 7th place? Or did it get to 3rd place? Did it take the bronze? Did it take the the aluminium or did it take the <laughs> the cotton? The lead. The cotton. The <laughs> cotton award of eleventh place. Who knows? I'd, I quite like the idea of a cotton medal. That's for what? Mm. You can like wipe up any stains on your top or anything like that. <laughs> Honestly, Mitch, swap swap out gold. I think cotton all the yeah. way. Uh, anyway. Different. 17 people went for third, but that was the wrong Ooh, answer. Oh, that. goodness. Oh, wow. God, that, that, that's really going to turn the tables, I believe. <laughs> Who Look knows what this is going to do to the leaderboard. So it got, a co- it got a cotton mad medal, let it go deep from Frozen. <laughs> two the people, well medal. done to those two people. Idina Menzel is still spilling her. Um, <laughs> wiping up our spills. Adele Dazim. Adele Dazim is still wiping up our spills with our cotton medal there. I love right. them. That is the end of the quiz. Okay, so um, let's see how the leaderboard's looking here. Get ready for the results. We're going to move to the leaderboard, yeah. Look, show, us, show us the love, everyone. Click that heart. Where, where is everybody up to? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have a quick smint myself to calm myself down. Smint! Before. <laughs> before, before the results. I used to um, love a smint. I'm ready for the results. Here are the smints. Love a smint. Tick tack. Here we go. Just just win. Stay tuned. Okay, here we go. The winner of this week's quiz is it's Corona Cook with 33,792 points well Well done done. Corona Cook well done to you big round of applause for Corona Cook there you win nothing nothing well done and thank you for joining in with our quiz from Stamp tonight what I will just say everyone uh, make sure you tune in next week for even more Stamp fun 
And thank you again to everybody who took part and also to everybody who watched away on the live stream and, and saw our D. beautiful faces. Thank you to you, Dee, as well. Thank you, you to you, Reese. And of and course, thank you to Chrissy, Let's We Get Away With Murder. Oh, Chris, the quiz manager who lets us get away with murder. The quiz manager. <laughs> Just a little reminder, if you'd like to donate, you know, dig deep. It's for a great cause, which is making sure I can still pay for my car. Um, so... <laughs> And also um, remember that if you do have any videos that you want to, um, Chris actually hasn't even told me to say this, I've just taken it upon my own back uh, to say that if you have any videos that you'd like to send in um, of yourselves or anybody else singing any songs, then please do and we'll feature glad you them I'm glad you said singing songs there, Dee, I'm glad you've clarified. Well, you never know what they could be doing. They could be no, dancing with a plant true. for all you know. On this, on that point, let's move on. Let's say goodbye, everyone. Thank you very much for joining us today. Goodbye. Thank you for coming. <laughs>